Edward John Ruth FRS was an English mathematician, noted as the outstanding coach of students preparing for the mathematical tripos examination of the University of Cambridge in its heyday in the middle of the 19th century. He also did much to systematize the mathematical theory of mechanics and created several ideas critical to the development of modern control systems. Theory Biography Early life Ruth was born of an English father and a French-Canadian mother in Quebec, at that time the British colony of Lower Canada. His father's family could trace its history back to the Norman Conquest when it acquired land at Ruth near Beverly, Yorkshire. His mother's family, the Tachero family, was well established in Quebec, tracing their ancestry back to the early days of the French colony. His parents were Sir Randolph Isham Ruth and his second wife Marie-Louise Tachero. Randolph was a commissariat officer who had served at the Battle of Waterloo, and Marie-Louise was the daughter of Judge Jean Thomas Tachero and the sister of Judge Jean Thomas and Cardinal Elzaire Alexandra Tachero. Ruth came to England aged 11 and attended University College School and then entered University College, London in 1847, having won a scholarship. There he studied under Augustus de Morgan, whose influence led to Ruth to decide on a career in mathematics. Ruth obtained his B.A. and M.A. in London. He attended Peterhouse, Cambridge, where he was taught by Isaac Todd Hunter and coached by senior wrangler maker William Hopkins. In 1854, Ruth graduated just above James Clerk Maxwell as senior wrangler, sharing the Smiths Prize with him. Ruth was elected Fellow of Peterhouse in 1855, mathematics tutor on graduation. Ruth took up work as a private mathematics tutor in Cambridge and took on the pupils of William John Steele during the latter's fatal illness, though insisting that Steele take the fees. Ruth inherited Steele's pupils, going on to establish an unbeaten record as a coach. He coached over 600 pupils between 1855 and 1888, 27 of them making senior wrangler, as de Hopkins are 17. Ruth worked conscientiously and systematically, taking rigidly timetabled classes of 10 pupils during the day and spending the evenings preparing extra material for the ablest men. His lectures were enlivened by mathematical jokes of a rather heavy kind. Ruth was a staunch defender of the Cambridge competitive system in despaired when the university started to publish examination results in alphabetical order, observing, they will want to run the derby alphabetically next. Private life astronomer Royal George Biddleary sought to entice Ruth to work at the Royal Observatory, Greenwich. Though Airy did not succeed, at Greenwich Ruth met Terry's eldest daughter Hilda whom he married in 1864. The couple had five sons and a daughter. Ruth was a kindly man and a good conversationalist with friends, but with strangers he was shy and reserved, honours fellow of the Royal Society, Adams Prize, work. Ruth collaborated with Henry Brougham on the analytical view of Sir Isaac Newton's Principia. He published a textbook. Dynamics of a system of rigid bodies in which he did much to define and systematize the modern mathematical approach to mechanics. This influenced Felix Klein and Arnold Sommerfeld, Klein arranging the German translation. It also did much to influence William Thomson and Peter Guthrie Tate's treatise on natural philosophy. The Routhian of classical mechanics is named in honor of him. Stability and control in addition to his intensive work in teaching and writing, which had a persistent effect on the presentation of mathematical physics. He also contributed original research such as the Ruth Hurwitz theorem. Central tenets of modern control systems theory relies upon the Ruth stability criterion, an application of Sturm's theorem to evaluate Cauchy indices through the use of the Euclidean algorithm. Bibliography by Ruth Brougham and Vox, Henry Brougham, Baron and Ruth, J. 1855, Analytical View of Sir Isaac Newton's Principia, New York, Johnson Reprint Corp., Ruth.
J. Treatise on the Stability of a Given State of Motion, Macmillan, reprinted in Stability of Motion, London, 1975, a treatise on dynamics of a particle, with numerous examples, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, the elementary part of a treatise on the dynamics of a system of rigid bodies, being part one of a treatise on the whole subject, with numerous examples. The advanced part of a treatise on the dynamics of a system of rigid bodies, being part two of a treatise on the whole subject, with numerous examples. London, Macmillan and Co., Ltd. A treatise on analytical statics with numerous examples. Volume 1, Cambridge University Press. A treatise on analytical statics with numerous examples. Volume 2, Cambridge University Press. Obituaries The Times, 8 June 1907. Proceedings of the London Mathematical Society, 2nd Sir, 5, XIVXX. Nature, 76202, Cambridge Review, 13 June 1907, 480-81, H.H. T. Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, 68, 239-41, about Ruth Forsyth, R. Old Tripos Days at Cambridge, Mathematical Gazette 19, 162-79, DOI, 10.2307, 3,605,871, JSTOR 3,605,871. Fuller, T. Edward John Ruth, International Journal of Control 26, 169-73, DOI, 10.1080-0020717770892230, Ruth, Edward John, Oxford Dictionary of National Biography, Oxford University Press, accessed 10 September 2007. O'Connor, John J., Robertson, Edmund F., Edward Ruth, Mac Tutor History of Mathematics Archive, University of St. Andrews, Sneddon, N., Ruth, Edward John, in Gillespie, C., Dictionary of Scientific Biography, New York, Charles Scribner's Sons, Thomson, J., Recollections and Reflections, pp. 34-63, ISBN 0-405-06622-8, Venn, and Venn, A, Alumni Cantabrigiensis, Cambridge University Press.